Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be making the Chrome Dinosaur game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is going to be a two part series. In this first part, we are going to only design the game and in the next video, we are going to use JavaScript to finish the game. So make sure you subscribe, you are subscribed so you don't miss the next video and let's get started. Start, we are going to take the dip with the class of game which is just going to be our game board. Let's target that with CSS. Let's give it a height of 250 pixels and a width of 550 pixels. And so that we can see it, let's give it a border of 3 pixels, solid and make it black. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so far so good. Now we need the character, dinosaur and cactus. So let's get a deal, plus in dino. Let's target that in CSS. But first let's give the game board a position that way we will be able to give our character the absolute position let's make the overflow hidden so hidden ok now let's start with the character the characters are gonna have position of absolute and, all, and they are gonna be all the way to the bottom so let's say bottom 0 Okay, now let's target the dino. The dino is gonna have a height of let me remember 75 pixels and a width of 70 pixels. Let's give it a background of red for now. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we obviously don't want it to be red, so let's give it a URL. All the assets with the source code is gonna be linked in the video description, so make sure to you make sure to get it from there. Okay, it's gonna be assets slash dino one dot png. Let's say background image to be more specific and give it a background size 100% and 100%. Okay, let's see how that looks. But we don't want it to be static, we want it to be running. And for that, let's give it a keyframes animation. Let's say animation dino 0.2 seconds is going to be linear and infinite. Okay, let's make the animation at keyframes dino. Okay, let's get some space so you can see. At 0%, it's going to be same image as it has already and at 50% it's gonna have the second image and in 100% it's gonna have another image so we are basically looping through all the image and this will give us an effect of the dinosaur running let's see as you can see it's saying now we need a land so let's go to the game board and give it a background the URL is going to be assets slash slash land dot png. Let's see how that looks. Okay, this is not what we want, so let's give it a background repeat. Oh, no repeat, but first let's specify that it's background image. Okay, now background repeat. Set it to no repeat. Let's preview. Okay, we want it to be on the bottom so let's see the background position it's gonna be zero from the left and 230 pixels from the top so let's see okay it's much better now but it needs a bit of animation so let's say animation land and it's gonna be three seconds long it's gonna be linear and infinite now let's make the animation happen So it's going to be 
person Okay, good, it works. The dinosaur is all the way at the left, so let's say the left to 10 pixel and we get move, move a little bit. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, much better. Now we also need to have some clouds. So let's get a give a comma and say URL of assets slash cloud slash cloud png how it works. Okay, the cloud is all the way at the bottom so we can see comma and the position of 0 and 30 pixels. So it's going to be 30 pixels from the top. Let's do the, give it the animation as well. Okay. And let's see how it looks. Okay, the cloud is going backwards so we need to do something about that. So it's going to be different let's see how that works. Not quite working. Okay. Start from 100% as well. It's not okay. We need to say negative 100%. Let's see. Okay, now it works. And now we need the cactus. Let's get a character. The cactus class. Let's target the cactus. Cactus is going to be all the way to the right, so let's say right to zero and give it a height of 25 pixel and a width of 27 pixel. And to be able to see it, a background upgrade. Background upgrade. Let's see how that looks. If you go with this, this is the cactus image, so again, background image, URL. Yes, it worked this time. Okay, let's see. Good. Now let's give it animation so it goes from one end to another. This is called the cactus. And the duration for this is going to be 1.5 seconds. It's going to be linear and infinite as always. Okay, now let's write the animation. At e frames cactus. At 0%, it's going to be to the right. And it's gonna be all the way to the left, so it's gonna be going from one end to another, and it's gonna keep on going since it has an infinite animation timing count. Okay, let's see what happened. It works. Finally, when the actors gets a class of jump, it should jump. Later on, we'll use JavaScript to add that class, but for now, let's manually test it out. Sorry, have the class jump. We we'll have two animation. One is the one that already happened, and the one is gonna be the jump animation, which will make it jump. It's gonna be 0 0.6 seconds long, linear, and infinite. Okay, let's write the animation at keyframes jump. At 0%, it's gonna be at all the way to the bottom. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's going to be 80% from the bottom, so just a bit higher than the cactus. Let's see how it works. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Why? <coughs> okay, it should be linear, not linear. So that it's good. But still, it doesn't look good. So at 100% and 0% is going to be at the bottom, and at 35% and 65%, it's going to be at the bottom. From the bottom, so it's gonna hover for a bit. Yes, it works. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a like, and we'll see you next time.